Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? Well, it is Mother's Day today and I am surprising Becky with uh, something, but we're a little early for it, okay? So, uh, since we have like an hour to kill, um, we decided to stop maybe about, what is it, about nine minutes from where we're going uh, to this lookout tower thing. Look at this thing. So, that is... That's a lot of incline. That is a lot of incline, Becky, and I don't mean to make you do a big incline on Mother's Day, but... This is my Mother's Day surprise. You're making me climb up the stairs. No, this is... the Your surprise is going to be much better than this. Mm, it better be. Okay. You want me, give, give, you want me to give you a hint? Just a little hint? Okay. Am I getting a new dog? No, you're not going to get a new dog. But, sorry. Mm -hmm. You just saw a dog over there. The, I did. These people have got a little camper going over here, and they've got a dog over there. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet your dog? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's take the camera on up, and uh, we'll go up in here. We'll see the view, because uh, we are in the uh, Sheboygan area. Sheboygan! Well, area. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> not supposed to do that anymore. <laughs> and uh, we're in a, an area called Rumor Lakes. Uh, random Lakes. A uh, random lakes. That's it. Random Lakes. This is random. It, it's pretty random. So, uh, so we'll uh, we'll turn on the camera when we get back up there. Okay. See my new puppy. And, no, not to see your new puppy. Sorry. So, what's the matter? Oh, well, so a yeah, little loose, uh, loose board there. So this is just the first platform, so we still got a ways to go. But I like this because on every single step is uh, somebody who has uh, given some money and things like that for projects. Uh, so Crystal Lake Crushed Stone and so forth. This is my favorite one right here. Three guys and a grill at Marsh Lodge. <laughs> so this is as far as Becky and Vivian are going. It's too high, I'm too scared. And this is just the second platform. <laughs> it goes, you got, you got three more to go. No, one. Just one more to go? I mean, you got the thing, but you got the top. Yeah. Right, right there, and I can't do that. You can't do it? All right. I don't you don't, or is it the height thing? It's the height. it's the height thing. Look at Vivian. She's almost afraid to walk. So, well, if you guys want to go back down, you guys can, okay, you guys are going to sit on the bench. And I'll be back. <laughs> they do have a camera up here, so there is a notice. You are potentially being viewed by the patrons of the Marsh Lodge, including children. So please act accordingly. No loot axe up here, people. <laughs> but we have reached the top. One of the big donors of the tower is Sargento Cheese because their factory is in this town. <laughs> but there is, there's some fishing going on there. There's a big dam. way out there beautiful nice view worth the worth the climb there's our car way down there it isn't this nice this is beautiful and there's that camera So there's this beautiful marshland out here. Becky and Vivi were gonna wait on a bench on the level above me here. But they decided to walk down by the the waterfront there and the beach. So yeah, so that's where I just was. I went all the way to the top. 
144 stairs. So that wasn't too bad. At least it wasn't like the Tallulah Gorge with like 400 stairs where I almost died. So let's go check out the dam. This guy caught himself a fish over here. And here is the dam. So this is a campsite out here. You can camp out here for a small fee to set up your trailer and things. But uh, they, do, they have a bathroom here. Uh, there's four of them total, it's, uh, and they're all unisex. There's no sinks, just a, just a toilet. <laughs> On to Becky's surprise. New puppy. No, no puppy. We already said it was no puppy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and thanks for doing at least half the incline with me. I did most of it. Look, they did they did that level and that level. Oh, I didn't know there was two more. And then there was two more levels that I did. And but they, I don't you, do heights. you did pretty darn good though. You know? I don't do heights very and same well. with Vivi. She did pretty good. She doesn't do heights either. Yeah. These are these are definitely not my roller coaster girls, uh, things like that. Emer I need Emerson for that. <laughs> we are at where we're supposed to be. Right? We are at a place called Rustic Retreat Deer Park, and we are in um, Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Here, you are going to be able to interact with deer. Okay bison are you ready for it wolves <gasps> wolves can I pet a wolf i think you can pet a wolf they got a beautiful dog sitting out here he was just barking at us so let's go uh you can pet that dog <laughs> i'm pretty sure you can pet that dog <laughs> all right okay. so let's go on in happy mother's day yeah i'm so excited <laughs> let's show you excited Viv? yeah yeah maybe a little nervous Mm. with a wolf <laughs> all right well let's check it out and see what we can see here a lot of exciting stuff going on we get into it on July 1st Capone um, so we're going to hang out with the deer for about a half hour so we're going to do something different today with just shrubbery we're gonna... the bison thing intimidates you a little that bit that is Schmores and her so nine day old kittens okay, guys. <laughs> so everybody has to wear booties so you don't bring in any contaminants on your shoes so we'll take some shrubbery here and look at there's the bison right there and look at that they, they see what we got <laughs> now guys with all these animals just be careful don't try to make eye contact with them because well, I just <laughs> <laughs> And and Tom is a big jokester. <laughs> okay, so let's see if Brandy wants that or she wants brain. Let's see. Come on, young lady, see brain. The chance of you get thrown through the air is probably pretty slim. Oh, you may just made you made friends with her. Hold on tight, they're strong. Yep. So just kind of reach out. Make use of your guys. Make use of your arms when feeding the bison. We don't want your face and theirs because of the horns. So if they turn their head around and they bump you or something, uh, they could bump you with a horn. Two and two, and he's only eleven months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna wind up being. See how fast he's catching up to her. He's gonna be huge. No. Okay. No, what would you prefer, no, this no. or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Back in okay. Maybe. And we're gonna try and spread out more because we don't. He gets a little intimidated by her because sometimes she's always putting the horn in his side or whatever. We want to just kind of let's spread out a little bit, guys. And here comes a deer just out of nowhere. Look at this. Come on inside here and we'll spread out a little bit. 
<laughs> Look at this one, Kevin. Hi. Moms will be having babies in the, starting in about two weeks. So we have five dollars. We'll be starting. <laughs> Look at these. Look at uh, these are all white tail over there. So Brandy, our girl here, she's probably close to a thousand pounds. She's gonna put on about another three hundred over the next year that she'll be full grown. But Benny here, he's gonna be way over double her size when he's full grown. Okay. So in a couple years, you're gonna see some really big animals. <laughs> and I want to see you ride one of them. <laughs> 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 You know, if anybody wants to experiment with the grain, they, they, they'll never see another grain. You, or you can just take, tell you what, take the whole dish because some of them are good. Oh, you want grain? You can, and, here, let's do the other thing. Guys, you either grain or grain. Yeah, grain is good. Oh, something got, something got your attention, huh? Here you go. Hey. Look at this one. These are not messy, non typical deer. Come back. I'm going to get you guys to come back a couple times. Come back and see little babies. You can come back in August, September. You can see these bucks. And you can, you can pet them. Yeah. Don't yeah, they're not gonna bite you. Oh, hey. Okay. Yep. No, I got stabbed by the thing. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna bite you. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> don't bite them. No, I got stabbed by the stick. Yeah, if you if you touch the antlers, they're all fuzzy and they're warm because that's where all the blood flows going because the the, uh, the antlers are growing. There. Yep. That one's about two two right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, yeah. <laughs> Aren't you gorgeous, huh? There's a swan over there. Yeah. There's swans over there, there's one over there, there's a couple back over there. There's a goose. You ever see a swan attack a goose? They go like stealthily up. Yeah, if we had a bunch of those kids running around, this would not work. You would just wait today, but we don't have we're just guinea pigs today. We're trying something we don't know how to do. There you go. People I ask, what are you going to do when they're too big? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't come near me. Yeah, she's like, what's going on here? <laughs> You're no good to me like that with no food. <laughs> Brandy babies. Brandy. Come here, babies. How you doing, Brandy, huh? How you Come doing? <laughs> so, and of course, watch your step. You know, got a couple of deer and buff, uh, bison <laughs> droppings, too. That might be uh, another reason for the <laughs> shoe covers to help you out there. Yeah. Yeah, mine. So Becky long getting long up long close long. and personal there. Benny. Huh? What's his name? Benny. This is the boy. Tom, Tom, what's his name? That's Benny. Benny, okay. Yep. Benny and Brandy. Benny, and that's Brandy over there. Benny's younger than me. Yeah. But almost the exact same size. And uh, he'll wind up so big i guess he winds up being about 2500 pounds when he's fully grown that's crazy and he's they said like 900 pounds now so think about that <laughs>
going to be a big boy when he grows up. So yeah, so we'll take our booties off, throw that out. Do you want to dig a kitty out of there and play with the kitties for a little bit while we're doing intermission? That's more. And those are her kitties. If you want to grab a kitty, you can. So normally, guys, we normally get twice in here. We sit in our chairs. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What a sweetie. Shmore, you a good looking kitty. Yes, you are. You being a good mama, huh? <laughs> okay, Vivi, you have four cats at home. You don't need a fifth. <laughs> you think you do? We were just complaining about the other two today. No. No, I wasn't. I was saying how much I love them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so we just rehome the kitties. I charge $30, $30 a piece, which is enough. All right, time to see some wolves. They say they're very shy, they're very timid. There's one that is so shy and timid, doesn't even really want anything to do with humans. Give them guys new scraps and they get some dog food, but probably 50% of their diet is That's the same thing as these wolves. Wolves eat pretty much all these scraps. Look at this. Look at this. Aren't they gorgeous? Hi. Gotta say, if anybody's got purses or dangly stuff, sometimes Boomer will. He grabs onto this stuff, he's kind of mischievous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when they're loose in there and they steal something, they can run fast. So then we have a kind of a problem. So these three right here, these would be your typical gray wolves of North America. Cash is an Arctic wolf. He'll be turning white, but he's our shy guy. He didn't turn out to be the social butterfly. We hope he would. The new puppy we're getting comes to, he'll look basically just like this guy, but just a little slightly darker. He's going to look just like Boomer, the same breeder. Um, so these are wolf dogs. They have a little pinch of dog in them. If you don't like big dogs, you don't like being licked in the face, put a hand out because they're going to try and jump up on you and kiss you. So if that's not your thing, put a hand up. Come on, guys. Hi, look at this. How you doing? Come on, Boomer. Oh my Let's goodness. Go. Come on. Yeah, come in here. What's this one's name? That's Rosie. Rosie. Rosie now, Boomer. Show you the difference Hi, Rosie. A, basically, a real wolf. And uh, this guy right here is the real deal. See this tall guy? See how narrow he is? Mm -hmm. Boomer right here is basically pure wolf. Everything about him. This girl here has got a good 10% dog in her, and you just see the socks in the short. That's the dog in here. See the difference? The long-legged, tall, skinny. This is a basic wolf. He's got that little it's bit of dog. Pure wolf right, right there. She, uh, she helps us to kind of appreciate the dog versus the wolf. The wolf is a very Hi, buddy. animal. This guy's only 85 pounds. He's tall. But a male wolf, that's a pretty typical, <laughs> which you'd expect from, from one, height-wise and weight-wise. Our black one, Ace. Ace. He, he's a real gentleman. Um, he's just a, a very mannerly. He sits, he shakes paws. He's chair over here. <laughs> oh, but he's alpha. He just, <laughs> he just <laughs> your leg. So he he gets somebody's our, leg. Our dog pees on us. At yeah. All, so. Well, he loves That's you. That's why I was like watching. Like, you're his Hi, wife. baby. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi, so Hi look at black you. One, black wolves don't stay wow. black. They stay silver. He's turning silver fairly quick. Ace, Ace, come here. Hey, Ace, Ace, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, you is. Sit. Sit. Ace. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Shake. Come on, shake. Come on. Come on. Yes, <laughs> oh, if I got to. Yes, uh. I'll go. Alright, who wants this flavor? Yep. You guys? Alright. Mm -hmm. 
he's very vocal. He said that freaks people out sometimes. I'm like, yeah, he loves you. He's just talking to you. Don't know the English language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They can talk, but they can talk. Yeah. He just does that. Yeah, I wrote Now, what she's going to do, she likes her and Cora are always trash talking each other, and they're both girls. <laughs> they're always fighting for who's going to be queen. Cora and her going to queen, who gets to be queen and run the show. It got her back. Is he there? Okay, I we're going for a walk here with our with our wolves. Becky is beyond excited. She's <laughs> getting to walk a wolf. It's like, are you kidding me? Come on. Hey, <laughs> you scoring Ace? Huh? You scoring there, bud? Yeah, in a little bit. We're going to take pictures. <laughs> Each family group was posing with them. Each other and playing and get rough housing. But if they so much look at them the wrong way, they'll tie right in. How are you? Look at you. Gorgeous. Oh, he's yeah, one on one with any of these guys he's filmed in those times. He's that's a big, heavy, powerful animal. I cannot believe I am petting a one hundred percent wolf right there. Look at this. Look at this. This is just too awesome. What a great encounter. So it takes an awful lot of people saying that you can't have a pet. get these animals to trust people like this. Sure. Most of most wolf dogs you always have that problem of them being you try your best and they still are extremely shy where you can't even so to buy I got a five thousand dollar puppy coming in two weeks and if I don't go about it and everything works out just gonna want the right, tummy rubs. You might end up with another one like that. that <laughs> What good is, you know, it's a, it's a big gamble. You dump a lot of money into them. So yeah. when I have two of them like this that are kind of the real deal, <laughs> these are very valuable animals. These two nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. he won't even, he won't let me touch them. Every once in a while, he'll take a treat out of my hand, but that's, that's pretty rare. Did you get him from a different breeder or something then? Yeah, he does come from a different breeder, and I think where we went wrong is... Oh. <laughs> so we try to get him Okay, Vivi gets so, kisses. But depending on the breeder, some breeders are really working with these little puppies. Oh. Like the little kitties in there. Yeah. If I was selling those for close to four or $5,000... And Becky gets the kisses too. ...every day and, and really loved on a lot, yeah. constantly. And depending on oh, where you get it from, some breeders are like, oh yeah, we worked with them a lot, an awful lot, playing? and maybe they didn't work with them near as much as huh? they should have. You don't play any sweet girls? Like this guy, the breeder, does a phenomenal job, and it shows. The other cat, I got those two pups the same year. He's a kisser. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially if they lay on their back. Like, yeah. it it's their Trust. comfortable. <clears throat> Just, you know, Becky walking her wolf, you know. Yes. <laughs> How you doing? She's a good girl. Yeah, Rosie's a licker. She's a kisser. <laughs> are you a kisser? Yes, you are. Yeah, you're just a lover. Yes, you are. You're just a lover. Cora. Cora. There we go. She's a sweet girl. Yeah, you getting the kisses. You giving Becky all the kisses? Yeah. Jeez, Louise. Come here. Hey. Hey. What you doing, sweet girl? No more kisses. No more kisses. You just said these are the dominant pair right here, the dog and the and the wolf and. They're sweet on each other. Ace and Cora, sitting in a tree. <laughs> Hi, Cora. How you doing, good girl? Huh? Are you a good baby? Yes, you are. You're such a little sweet girl. And here comes the boyfriend-girlfriend moment. No. <laughs> Oh, well, these are the two females. So, yeah. 
you need a lot of help to take down these big animals. <laughs> Did you get kisses? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Viv, did you ever ever think that you would get this up close and personal with an actual wolf? No. <laughs> what about you? Did you think you did? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, one day. <laughs> Ace is getting the belly rubs, and as soon as she stops, he grabs her arm and he's like, "Come on, look, what are you doing? You're you're not done. You're not done. I need some some more belly rubs." Ace is the king of the belly rubs here. He loves his belly rubs. <laughs> look at, look at, just keep giving me the belly rubs and all will be good. <laughs> but yeah, so this, uh, this is a fantastically run place. Very, very well uh, run and all the animals are very well loved and taken care of. Very taken care of. So, I give this place very high marks. And I highly, highly recommend this place uh, to come and visit and play with some bison and deer and some wolves, right? Huh? Yeah. He definitely, yeah, yeah. He definitely likes Vivi. <laughs> Ace and uh, and Vivi make a good team here. Oh my goodness, he's falling asleep. Look at this. Yes, he, he just fell asleep, just right there in Vivi's lap. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> She's just a little lover. I just got all sorts of kisses and I didn't get it on film. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. Get them Betty rubs in. Oh, yes, my goodness. <laughs> All right, we're going to get to see some treats. Just do like an open hand. We'll make them sit. Make them do something impressive like sit. All right, sit. No. All right, sit. Sit. All right, here, you guys can help yourselves. You guys want some? Who's in your group here? Would you guys want some dog food? Knock it off, Boomer! I don't have anything, Cora. Control, control your animal, sir. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> did you get a? Did you want to get treats? No. Yeah, cowboy. Just hands open, you know. There you go. Got to get him to sit or something. Tell him sit. There you go. See. See. See if Ace will give you a paw or something. Cora. Cora. Uh, you know what? Because they eat the meat scrub. They're eating raw meat all the time. So to them, this is something different. The is different. What do you think was boring? Yeah. Oh, this would be boring for any other dog. This would be very boring. 
Is that a set? There you go. Oh, there you go. You shook hands. Come here, polar bear. <laughs> so Becky it was so wonderful one of the best days of my life I just like loved up on all these wolves yeah this was an incredible day this was an incredible it day. really is and thank you guys so and, much you bet and uh and as Tom the proprietor here uh was mentioning dogs are more ferocious because they're bred to protect. because they're bred to protect where wolves don't really protect right. anything and even in nature they're not aggressive uh and they have to hunt of course to to get food but they're but they're very a timid animal they're very shy uh and this is proof right here um you know you got one laying on Vivi's lap, you know, just falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. Look it's, at our faces. Right. Yeah. They were just, they were just so loving. And, uh, but we had a great day here. So the bison, Perfect. the, the, the deer, day. and then the wolves, uh, highly, highly recommend this place. I give this place two big thumbs up, five stars all the way. Yeah. So. Um, 10 out of 5. Except maybe Brandy. She's a little... Oh, Brandy, yeah, that the the, the, uh, bison. the bison. Um, she didn't like me. Yeah, she was. Uh, she, she liked you, but she gets a little jealous sometimes. Right. So if you know if you're paying attention to Tom or uh, some of the other animals, this she she'll get a little. She'll just get a little bumpy like that. Right. She, a little she pushy. Won't, yeah, a little pushy, but that's it. Yeah. So, but Tom says no, and she stops. Right. So, all right. So, um, if you like what you see, as always, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below um uh, keep it safe keep it sexy uh if you want to correspond with us anyway i will leave our p.o box number down below and don't forget to check out our interactive map uh which our uh subs subscriber davy sitter so tirelessly does uh and so this will be the next one to go on the map when it's done um and i'll put the link down the, that down below as well so until then, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you next time on Where the Heck Are the Alpins? <laughs> Bye, everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, yeah.